Good morning, welcome to another week. Things are still slightly frozen. It was about minus eight last night. The sun's out finally. So we're going to do shopping, which is massively overdue. I've just done recycling, which is equally overdue. So there's still snow everywhere. It's so cold. The car's a little bit cold. Yeah! Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog! Saturday Chaos in Sainsbury's. This is looking good though. And delicious. There is, honestly, there is vegetables and fruit under there. It's just, they're just buried <laughs> under everything else. It's a total chaos. We usually come midweek and weekend it's just nutty. Oh well. We're going for a walk because we've been inside a lot and it's been snow everywhere but now it's you know it's green and grassy and Sunday so that's what you do embrace the cold there's still bits of snow little bits and there's a snowman body at the other end of the car park I think the towpath will probably be snow free by now so we've come around the towpath into the gardens Kew Gardens that is there's still bits of snow. It's still very wintry. But the daffodils and the crocuses and what have you, they're all beginning to spring up. And I guess given a month or so, it'll be all colourful. At the moment it's still a bit sort of bleak midwinter. This is in the temperate house in Kew. That thing looks like strange plant in the Flash Gordon film where they have to put their arm in and see if they're going to get bitten by a strange bug. Maybe it's, maybe it's based on that. Who knows. It's very still and pleasant in here. A bit warmer. Got to go back out to the cold now though. Right, just about to leave again. It's always nice to check on my garden, make sure that the gardener's looking after it. They're doing a good job, I can comfortably get home now. I'm gonna take both the red pill and the blue pill, see if it makes me feel better. Okay, how's this for medicine? Check them out. Roses, but what's odd about them? Yes, they're made of meat. They are steak roses. Isn't that disgusting? Um, and also Whitney Zombie Agony, but steak roses. Right. A bit more of who's on heart time. Perfect medicine, goo. Goo is in reception. Look how many people have turned out. It's a little bit chaotic. Hello, I'm off to m and to a bit of lemon shopping because we're missing a lemon. In fact, there's lemon and parsley, that's what I've got to get. Uh, tomorrow we're going to go and see uh, Kevin Smith uh, live in London. In fact, he'll be in the Prince Charles Theatre where I saw him last September. So, I'm um, going to go for a bit of dinner and then do that. Should be fun. This is a stroganoff extraordinaire with a lemon waiting to go in. Just checking the smell of vision works. If it does, then you'll be very hungry right now. Welcome to Piccadilly Circus. I'm being totally touristy, I'm filming it. Isn't that hilarious? Look, buses, tourists, everything. Anyway, we're going to dinner now. Uh, Bocca di Lupo, lovely little Italian place, which we went to before, and then uh, to the Prince Charles Cinema, which is being a theatre tonight for Kevin Smith and Jen Schwalbach. And it's, it's quite a nice evening, it's not freezing, so this should be fun. Guinea fowl and some massive lamb chops.
All right, I'm gonna take a big, I'm gonna try to take a picture to start this show off. If I can figure this out here. But everyone say, T-Bag! T-Bag! Say, Cock and Balls! Cock and Balls! I love it. <laughs> say, so look, uh, throughout the show, there's, a, I think, four, five, five cameras, six cameras. So don't be distracted by these guys. You're gonna be roaming this one right here. The sexy one. There's a couple standing here, but uh, anyway, this show is going to be awesome. We got uh, a couple peoples coming up. There's going to be some of you guys are going to get involved. We're going to be involved. There's going to be balls flying. <laughs> but anyway, we have a very special, very very special guest. That's who who's going to come up on stage now and start the show. Say, T-Bag. super wigged out, stressed about, you know, this, that, or the other thing, fucking house things, kid things, fucking kid Married to Kevin things. This, <laughs> that kind of shit as well. It being the morning and whatnot, and I was like, God damn it, man. I was like, you're fucking so uptight in the morning. She's like, well, you're not, because you're always fucking stoned in the morning. I was like, I'm always stoned every hour of the day, man. It makes everything easier to take. I was like, you should get stoned in the morning. She's like, no. I was like, well, you should have a drink. She's like, it's fucking 7 o'clock. And I was like, well, all right, then you should get stoned, man. You haven't gotten stoned in a while. I was like, maybe the problem was you smoked too much that one time. Like, what if you just smoked a little bit? Like, I got these cones, you know, normally I smoke cones that are like this, big ones like this, little ones like this, then there's small ones like this. I could roll you a very small joint, maybe two hits out of it, Two hits might be enough to just make you nice and like even keeled. Like you know, she's always associating. Is it pusher? No. <laughs> no, man. I just, you know, it's like if somebody's like, if you're like, I got a headache. Somebody, he's like, take some aspirin. You're like, oh, thanks. That's not a pusher. That's somebody who's just got the down cure. I'm the hallway with a list of like, okay, we've got to do this, got to do this. You try this. Try this. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. Was I whispering like that? Yeah, because everybody else was still. <laughs> I was like, hey man, just like give it a shot. Up. It's a two hitter. You take this, you smoke it. It's not even too much to even give you any fucking trouble or anything. She's got paranoid feelings about getting too high and shit in the past. I guess she's gotten too stoned. So she's like, I don't know, I'm nervous. I was like, this won't fucking do anything, man. Anything. It'll just make you mellow. She's like, okay. All right, to be fair, I smoke weed like once every few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, it should have a fucking impact of sorts. Maybe not. And it did. <laughs> Maybe not where it went. So I said, here, here you go. You can smoke right here. I'll be right here with you. She's in my office. Has this small ass joint. Takes a hit. 
And she was like, it's a little harsher than smoking a cigarette. I was like, yeah, yeah, but it's not that bad. It's Maui Waui. <laughs> and um, she takes another hit, and she's smoking it like a cigarette. She's not really keeping it in her lungs as much as a, a weed smoker would be. She's just, you know, and I'm like, well, you'll get something. Maybe you're not going to get everything. But uh, she did it for maybe, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes on my porch and whatnot. The whole time, I'm just like, oh, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> because when she falls in love with this, we're going to take this relationship to a whole new level. <laughs> this is going to be amazing and shit. So she's like, that's it. I don't want to do this anymore. I was like, okay, man. Well, well that's cool, man. How do you feel? Puffs. Three puffs, maybe, max. I was like, how do you feel? She's like, I feel, I feel good. It's fine. I don't know. It's fine. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, though. And so I was like, okay. She's like, I'm going to go to my room, get some coffee, sit down. I said, all right. So I'm in my office. She left this much of the fucking joint, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll finish it for her. I finished that, and then I go smoke a brand new joint and whatnot. I'm online, and chat window pops open. And the chat window says, you busy? And it's her. And she's literally just down the hall. That's how we have relate to one another in our relationship. 14 years of marriage, we just send iChat messages to us. It's really disturbing when she's on a couch and I'm on the bed three feet away. <laughs> this way, at least she at the end of the hallway and shit. So you bitch, she goes, you busy? I said, no, what's up? She goes, can you come down here? I said, oh, are you okay? She goes, not sure. And so I'm like chuckling, going, oh my God. She's feeling a little bit paranoid. She has some weed and shit, so she's just feeling a little spacey. You know, I'll go down there and fucking talk to her. I'll probably get laid out of this. This is going to be amazing. You know, I close my computer, head down the hallway, saunter down, if you will. Open the door, and she's sitting behind her desk like this. <laughs> Eyes fucking wide, wide. They won't feel like, almost like they're being held up by invisible fucking sticks. Just fucking centered. And she turns her head to me, and she's like, I don't think I'm doing good. <laughs> I was all right, I'm going to come in, fucking close the door. I sit down in front of her. I was like, what's up, man? She's like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel this way. I'm like, if you feel high, that's how you're supposed to feel. <laughs> she's like, I don't feel high. I feel really fucked up. She's like, my heart is racing. I feel like my heart is racing. I was like, nah, man, weed calms you down. It does the opposite. It won't speed up your heart. It's going to calm your heart down, man. That's in your head. She's like, no. No, I'm feeling weird. I'm feeling very, very weird. And I was like, well, how weird? And she was like, I don't know. Walk me to the bed. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? That's all you need. If I walk you to the bed, you lay down. It's awesome when you lay down. I'm going to fall asleep. Man, it's stone. Maybe we'll make out. I'll rub your back. Don't touch my back. <laughs> like, all right, I'm not getting laid. I'll get her to the bed. Thanks, as always, to the person without whom I can't do plus one, Jennifer. Well done. And thank all of you for coming out. This is really fun for us to do. Make sure you use our shivers before you get out of here. From the Prince Charles Cinema here in London, I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Jen Schwalmer. I'll see you next time on Plus One. Good night, everybody. Hello, that was awesome, wasn't it? So that was a little bit of Kevin Smith. Um, if you want to see the rest of that story, um, as I said, there's a, there's a link in the description below uh, to the DVD, um, or there will be as soon as the DVD is released, because they were filming that uh, especially for the DVD. So um, fear not, if you're a Kevin Smith fan, it will happen. Anyway, um, I thought I should wrap up the vlog properly because I don't do that very much anymore. So this is the conclusion. It's Friday and it's now me time. Um, I've just gone through all my posts, got letters from Boris asking me to vote for him and saying how brilliant he is. I won't be. He's a moron. He's an evasive moron. He doesn't even answer questions on things he's supposedly done. So what I'll be doing with this Boris literature is I will be recycling it. See, now that's a process that's been made twice as difficult by the now Conservative-run Richmond Council. Anyway, um, so that's what's happening here right now. That is your party political broadcast for the day. Um, and um, anyway, thanks for watching, uh, as always. Please leave a comment if you can, and um, I am now going to go, and I will see you very, very soon. Don't be